Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and today we are looking at a similar tutorial to something I've done in the past. First, we're going to add a CTA button on the product card that shows up on the collection sections. This is going to be a call to action that's going to say, add this to cart. Then we're going to build a quick view modal so that we can have the customer select a variant before actually adding to the cart. Now, there were a few hurdles that I faced when I was building this functionality, so I'll do my best to explain what they were and how to overcome them along the way. And by the way, pro tip, your theme may already have this feature for you, you just have to enable it. And I'll show you how to check. At least on the Dawn theme, I know it's there. Of course, I'm always biased towards custom solutions, so at the very least, you'll understand how to build one of these yourself. Um, we'll be editing two files and creating two more. It should be pretty easy to copy and paste from my GitHub link in the description, but I'll try and provide some insight while we're adding this code if you're interested in what goes on under the hood. Shout out to several subscribers for requesting this video. If you have something that you want to see in a tutorial, just give me a subscribe and comment below. Otherwise, leave a comment and just say hi, maybe if you're a merchant or developer and where you're from. I love to chat. And a huge thank you to all the nice comments I receive. It really, really means a lot to me. Okay, now I'm going to jump in and show you what this is going to look like. Now you'll see that if we scroll down to any of the collection sections that are shown, they have this blue add to cart icon. And when we click on it, we have this modal, which allows us to select um, colors and sizes. And if I add to cart, you'll see that it does in fact add the correct variant. So let's dig into the code and see how we can get to this point. Now the first thing we're going to do in the code is get this blue button to show up for us. So in order to do that, I'm in the DOM theme and I'm going to open up the card product snippets. The reason this is important is because this is where each individual product is being rendered in the collection sections. So if you're not working in DOM, that's fine. But you're going to want to find your collections section and then you're going to want to see what snippet is rendering each one of these. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to first at the top, I'm going to just paste a bunch of styles. And again, this code is all in the link in the description to my GitHub. Okay, so there's nothing too much I want to point out here other than sometimes I've had comments, people say that they have trouble getting the button to show up like over the product card. So usually when that happens, it's because of this right here, this Z index. <clears throat> and what the Z index does is uh, it determines the depth of where something should be shown. So for example, if I had something with a Z index of one and then a Z index of 99, the 99 is gonna show in front of the one. So try making this number bigger if you need to. Okay, so this is the styles. Now let's actually insert the icon itself. So I'm going to scroll down in this file to around line 610. All right, and I'm looking for this else right here. And right at the very end of this HTML, I'm going to paste this. And you'll see it has that class that we just added some styles to. We have an on click where it's out of calling to actually show the modal. And then the actual material icon <coughs> is displayed here. So if I save this, um, we just need to add one more thing before we can see it in our UI, and that is to import this library. So if I come back and open theme.liquid and I can just paste this link right here. Now if I save and if I preview, excellent. We can see our icon here and if we click on it, it's not going to actually do anything because we haven't wired up the modal or the script for that yet. So the next thing we'll do is create the modal. So in order to do that, we are going to create a file and it's going to be a section. The reason it's going to be a section is so that we can query it with the section rendering API. Um, if you don't know what that is, I will show you here in just a moment, but I'm going to name this, uh, I'm going to do product popup dot liquid. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just copy and paste a bunch of styles because there's a lot of styles here that go into our modal. And I would just recommend copying the whole file, honestly, and pasting it in, but I'm gonna go one at a time here so we can kind of talk about it. This is all the styles that we need for our modal, and I'm not really gonna talk about that, but the next thing we're gonna do is grab the actual HTML and liquid. So 
this is where everything is actually being rendered. So I'll come underneath here and I will paste this. Uh, okay, just to give a quick walkthrough. It's kind of self-explanatory. We have the images here and then, so like the large feature image and then the images underneath of the different variants. Um, then we have like the title, the right hand side, right? has the description, um, a link that we can click to see more, the price, all that product info. And then we also have our add to cart button. But the main thing I want to point out here is this right here, rendering this custom variant stuff. <laughs> Pardon the name. Obviously I named it when I was feeling tired. But this is a snippet that we're going to create, which is going to render the blocks for each of the different variant options that there are. Um, this will make more sense in just a moment. But what we can do is, after I just add this quick empty schema, which by the way, if you're creating this for a merchant, I would definitely recommend filling this schema out with set customizable settings. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the snippets and we're going to call it custom variant stuff, I believe is what I called it. All right. And then I'm going to copy and paste this, paste that in. Okay. So what is going on here? Well, we are first checking and make sure that this uh, product actually has multiple variants before we display anything. If they do, then they have the loop that goes through. And this is kind of cool. It's the options with values. So previously when I'd worked on variant option uh, selectors, I had, didn't know about this liquid object. Um, but what it does is it allows us to loop through <clears throat> and display the different variants grouped together. So for example, if you have like a, a variant for sizes, all the sizes will show up because of this code. And then also the colors will show up. So it's kind of organized and you're not showing like um, all the different options, like a small uh, black t-shirt, medium black t-shirt, et cetera. It's like, it cleans it up really nice. Right, so what we can do is we can save this file. And now everything is created as far as the styles and the, the HTML structure, but we just need some JavaScript to actually make this logic happen. Meaning when we click on the button, it makes the modal pop up and then clicking off the modal, for example, closes it and adding to cart um, successfully makes that request. So this next part is rather important. So let's copy this code and we're going to go back to the card product file. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to paste this script. Okay, so uh, we can talk about a few of the different things going on here. But we have a few functions. Get new variant. Now, um, I'm going to come back to this in a moment because this is something that's very cool that took a lot of uh, research on my part to figure out. Um, <clears throat> the main thing, I guess, we'll start in kind of sequence would be the show modal function. So this show modal function is going to call the section rendering API, and you can see that I'm calling it right here. And then I'm getting the handle from the actual uh, button click event uh, when this function is invoked. So I'm passing that from the HTML into this uh, function. And then what I'm doing is I'm getting that HTML from this file, because essentially what this request does is it just grabs this file for us. And then I'm rendering it by inserting it into the DOM. And then after that, what, what are we doing? Well, we have some uh, listeners here. So like when the variant changes, we want to make sure that we listen for that and we know what's currently selected. And then we also have this add to cart function, which um, if you've used the Ajax API at all, it's pretty common, pretty straightforward. You just add the variant ID and the quantity that you're adding and you can make a request to Shopify. Now this function up here, okay, so we also have just point out the change quantity. So like if they add more than one or the close modal, but this function right here took a lot of work on my end. I had to see what was Dawn doing by default to see this uh, being done. So what's happening is we add, we have, we can make a section rendering API request and you'll see right here, it's the same request as below, but then we have this option values. And what we're doing is we're adding the variant IDs that are selected. And then the, in that request, you'll see that it uh, returns the HTML. And we make use of some clever code to get the um, selected variant. And the way that we do that is we are getting that request and then we're parsing it and grabbing it. So where is this happening? Well, 
if I copy this right here and I go back to our product pop-up, is it in this file? Yep, yeah, okay. So this is what is being done in the Dawn theme currently, um, and I'll show you how to enable that in just a moment. But you can see that we have the script here and we're using this product selected or first available variant. And we're putting it here so that when our request gets this file, we can then parse it out and get the selected variant so we know what the selected variant is when we add it to the cart. I hope that makes sense, but it's something that was very tricky for me because when you're selecting the different variant, uh, particularly in use cases where you have t more than one type of variant, like sizes and colors, then you need to be able to make sure you're adding the correct variant for, say, a medium white t-shirt, right? It has to be the correct size and the correct color. Okay, so all of this code should be functional with up to two different variants. Um, that would be a good Im improvement if, if someone had a lot more than two types of variants. And if so, let me know. I'd be curious the use case there. But if we save this file, we should be able to refresh. And boom, you'll see that as I open the modal or click on the button, we successfully update it. And then um, say I want gray medium. I should be able to add to cart and we have a gray medium t-shirt. Now this is something I do want to point out as I noticed when I was testing that not always does it add the correct, um, it does not always show the correct image in the cart. And I wondered why that was. I thought maybe it was something buggy with my code. So you'll see white, but it shows the wrong color t-shirt. And this is something that was also happening by default in the Dawn theme. So that would be something, I guess, to look at if if you were facing this problem, probably a fix in the actual cart area. Okay, um, one other thing I want to point out is also in the code, when I have a successful request go through, I am just navigating to the cart page. But say that you have the slide out card enabled or something like that, you can very easily look at your theme and the proper way to update the cart. A lot of times it's using a dispatch event or in the Dawn theme, sometimes you can manipulate the cart JS file to do that for you. So as you can see, everything is functional. And as well, if I check on a product that has only one variant, you'll see maybe I just do a large and I want three. I'll add to cart there and I'll have a large of three. So this is working as expected. Now I want to show you really quick how you can enable this by default on your theme. So if I come back and go into the customized theme here, if you want to avoid doing all the work that we just did, you can actually come through to the settings here, uh, default collection, and then product grid. Okay, here we go. And then you'll see right here, there's a setting in the product card for a quick add. So we can see our button there. But if we do standard, it adds this thing below. Now let's save it and see what it actually looks like. If I refresh here, go to this catalog page, and you'll see it opens up a modal with pretty much the same content that we had. Um, and you can select here as well. So if you want to just use something out of the box and not have to do any custom code, then I would suggest taking a look at the settings to see if that is an option on your theme. Well, I hope that this has been educational and I hope you've learned something. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.